definition of a blog is really difficult and I think what is more interesting is to make a distinction between professional and, and amateur journalism than between blogging and journalism. It's, it's really good and it forces you to really keep up with what's happening because of course the arena university is always three, two years behind. Okay. I would say, and even though they try to, to keep it actual, but the real theory always lags behind the reality. So it's nice also to force yourself to, to follow something like that and to think about it on a really a daily basis, reflect on it and write about it more frequent than you were doing in university and more. And I really had to look for some kind of uh, balance, what is just news and when can I put something of myself in it. Mm -hmm. So in the beginning I really only, I, I just when I saw a news fact I would blog about it, but I would, in the end I didn't think that was that interesting. So later on I tried to make some own content, do some interviews and make some little movies or some presentations or just a nice thought I had, put it online or really wrote a more more column style. No, this one, it, it's even, even simpler and quicker because you can really go on and end it with it, but it takes a lot of work and if you just want to take sound bites from an interview, it's nice. My last post I think I did was the beginning of June, I met a lot of... Um, I accidentally bumped into a campaign team from the 66 in the in the in Amsterdam in a park, and I just asked them whether they had any uh, politicians available to to film or something. And then the number four of their list, who just was about to just not make it into the parliament, he was uh, he was there, and I did a small interview with him, and then I made this presentation, and it's sort of it's a presentation you can just put in pictures, and you can link the pictures to movies or to to other sites. So I, I took a picture of him, put it in a park. And...